what's up y'all oh my god it's been a long long time so this is your girl formerly known as j-a-s-k-c-1 and uh, we probably won't be going by that name we'll just be going by council queen now because that's what i am um that's what i'm known for um so after watching a couple of videos yesterday on youtube i was like you know what i need to get back um on YouTube and start just making videos um, and so this is my welcome back party um, I know when I left I don't really know what we was talking about um, but we are going to start back like going into about relationships and things like that and that's what actually prompted this video today relationships so I don't know if you all who are new but my old people do know about the challenges that I had and about four years ago um, with the relationship and the relationship is ended I'm no longer talking to this person at all or being um, I'm not even friends with them at all I have no contact with them um, so I had been um, kicking it and when I say kicking it, you already know that that means either um, spending a lot of time with an ex or um, having intercourse or sex with an ex so I've been kicking it with one of my exes for um, uh, about a year now. I think I've been back around him a year. And I'm thinking that um, we are moving forward into a relationship. Um, well, that wasn't the case. So I have gotten to the point now where I'm ready to date. So I um I'm at one of my jobs and this young man approaches me and um he is um tall and he he keeps it like it is. Um and yes if you see my mouth I'm still having a mouth problem. I haven't found anybody to fix my mouth, but that's a different story. Um, and I think all of them are going to go now. So I meet this young man. And um, when he rolls up on me, you know, he's like, and I had some little pants on, not really thinking about nothing. I was feeling good about myself. And you know how we do when we are, you know, feeling good about ourselves or whatever. So I'm feeling good about myself. And this young man stands behind me. And he's like, um, I don't know why you come up here with those tight pants on. Um, looking all good like that. You need to give me your number. So I'm like, oh, I like the way he said it. His voice had like presence. His, oh, it was, oh, oh, it was everything, right? So he gets my number, the correct number. Um, and we start texting. Now, if anybody knows about, about me, I date by sign. So me and him are clicking and vibing. Boom, boom, boom. It's good. So me and him are vibing like, oh my God, I think our first night on the phone, we spent like three hours on the phone. And I know that may not be a lot of, lot of deal to, a big deal to a lot of people, but oh my God, it was such a big deal for me because I like little things. Um, I love chivalry. I love the small things because you can appreciate the big things later in life. If, you know, you marry him or whatever. So, I'm very vulnerable in, at this stage. And I'm just like, you know, I don't want to fall for you when you end up leaving or, you know. But he's, I mean, like, every every ball I threw, he was hitting the home run. Oh, my God. So, it came to the point where he told me, like, how he had saw me once before. And he was like, mm, okay. Then he was like, he saw me again. And he was like, he made a vow to himself that if he saw me a third time, that he would be a man and approach me. So that particular night that he saw me with those pants on and I'm feeling all good about myself was his third time. So, um, we're spending time together. We're having fun. He comes, sees me. His first time coming to see me, you know. He kissed me and he kissed me like, 
you know, I was the best woman in the world. Um, and his kisses just did something. They were sincere. Um, they was passionate. They were soft. They were gentle. Oh, my God. Um, and that's a lot of things that men don't like to hear about themselves. But that was true. And that's what, you know, sometimes women need. You know, he always calls me beautiful. He always calls me sexy. You know, and sometimes I don't see myself as beautiful or sexy. Um, but when I'm with him, oh, my God, it just feels amazing. Um, I'm not bad looking, but, you know, we have those days. So... We're spending all this time together, and as you can see, I'm just glowing, right? We spend all this time together, and it comes to the point where um, he tells me his zodiac, and his zodiac is the same as mine. Matter of fact, we're ten days apart in birthdays. Hmm. Mm, I don't like our sign, not today, because. We're one of the most difficult signs when it comes to like having a lot of emotions and talking and things like that. But I was feeling him. And you know. So I decided not to run. Um, I had wanted to wait. And when I say that I wanted to go ahead and do like a um a Megan Good situation or a um Sierra situation. Um but that did not happen. Um, here I am with a 25-year-old man who has needs. And he's kicking it with me. Um, and I'm scared. I'm crying because I really don't want to give out my goods if per se. Um, and um, But when he touched me. He touched my soul. Um, when he told me that he got me, um, and he told it so, you know, he said it so manly but so gentle in my ear, it felt, it felt wonderful. Um, it actually brought tears to my eyes. Um, and the only thing I really wanted to do was be with this guy. Um, so we moved our relationship forward. Now, uh, so. As a woman, I need to hear, like, you're my girl. Well, I never did get that. But about two weeks ago, we were together. He asked me, was I his? If you all can read lips. And I was under the impression that I was his girlfriend. Because that's what it means. But the next day. He didn't know. But he did tell me before he was falling for me. So I was like, okay. He also told me he couldn't give me his heart. He also told me he doesn't talk. He also told me he has real life stuff going on. About a week ago, I think, we started. Um, I was telling him that I wouldn't ask him for money because I don't feel comfortable asking him for money. He's told me if he elf with me and he elf with me hard. Then I could ask him. He called me about three days ago, maybe four now, and told me that um, he wanted to pull up on me. Usually when he pulls up, he just comes for, which is okay sometimes, but not all the time, but we want to spend time together. So I'm like, yeah, we plan other things too, but we both are workaholics now. Me working so many jobs, him working two jobs. We don't have time to go to the movies or act eat like that because our both our main focus is on money, um, which he also told me that the right thing is the only thing is money. So um, we got into a little debate. I brought up that I had baby fever. I didn't say I wanted to have a baby with him. Um, I said I, you know, I I brought up baby fever. Um, he instantly snapped and it was like um don't tell me don't keep talking to me about having a baby lord knows i'm not having any babies anytime soon okay you're going through problems with your baby mom and i understand that my baby daddy is absent in my daughter's life and i can understand how you feel i didn't say i wanted a baby with you but i could easily tell you that she was in your feelings about that so after we had that little discussion after he told me that I could ask him for money, 
my car ran on red yesterday. My light turned on red. I knew I didn't have any money. So I called, text him. I've been calling texting for like three days. And my car's been going to voicemail. And my texts have been unresponsive, unresponded. So I'm instantly in my feelings now because I haven't heard from you and I feel like you don't have time for me. So what did I do? I removed his I removed him from my phone. He doesn't have social media, so I didn't have to worry about that. I haven't called him today. I'm not. I um I had offered him about three, four weeks ago a plate for Thanksgiving. Instead of him saying, Yeah, babe, go ahead and take care of me. He didn't say nothing. He didn't say thank you for looking out for me. Um I want to go out to the cabins for Christmas. Um, I'm paying for everything because I'm going paying for me and my daughter. I'm not paying for him, but I invited him on the trip. Um, all you have to do is go. Do you think he was like, oh, no, nah, I'm going to go work or yeah, I'm going to take two days with you or we're going to work on this. You know, we're not moving forward into what I thought we were moving to in the beginning, which was a relationship. So another one bites to this. So, you know, people always tell you when you want to get into a relationship to take this time for yourself. I've taken enough time for me. I want a boo thing. It's, it's, it's cuddle season. It's keep warm snuggle butter. It's baby boo. All that good stuff. So, I am not sure what's going to happen. I just know right now we're not talking. Um... I'm just lost. Ladies, have you been there before? You know, I was telling someone today, like, you know, I'm rocking with this dude. I'm, I'm imperfections and everything. I'm rocking with him. And men always say, female's not loyal. But as soon as you get one loyal to you, you run her away. So what are we supposed to do? So, I will be coming back. I'm glad to be back. Again, this is my welcome back party. And we just started our first new topic. And we went right back into relationships. I hope to get some more subscribers. I am trying to reach a million subscribers. And so I'm not sure what you all like. We will start doing some more things. Some challenges and crazy stuff. Um, we are going to start back to the road to Hollywood. I do have something to tell you all. So we'll be doing that. Um, and if you have any questions or you are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe check out the old videos we are going to be talking about suicide prevention um, because a lot of people do uh, a lot of people not only women but men as well try to commit suicide um, I will tell you about what I'm doing for Christmas I am doing something very big and we'll probably do a video about that after Thanksgiving so that's only a few days away so that'll probably be our next video I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for visiting. If you haven't, go look at all the old videos. I have videos from maybe about six years ago. Um, comment. Get them popping again. And we'll talk soon. Alright, Castle Queen gang. We are out.